I'm here with my little helper, my brother. Um, <laughs> uh, and if you read the title of this video, um, we are going to be bringing some convicts. Um, we tossed around the idea uh, briefly before, um, uh, but really all started kind of when our local fish store got golden convicts, which was kind of um, a new twist to convicts for us. Um, Obviously, they're not a community fish, um, and they're highly prolific and sound very easy to breed um, and are said to breed like rabbits, so I'm pretty sure we're just kind of reaching for some low-hanging fruit here. Um, here is what I think is the female. We got a, there's a pair that's kind of pairing off in the fish store. Um, so it's kind of got like a whitish, blue-yellow sheen. Sometimes people call them paint convicts. Um, but. Yep, kind of interesting. That is a better look. Yeah. Okay, so this is really simple. I've opened up the double bag um, that it came in, and we got a net over a pail here, and we're just gonna pour it over um, the net, and the fish will end up in the net, but the water will end up in the bucket. Okay, and then from there we can put the fish in the net. There she is. All right, here's the email.
right now the fry are just wigglers. Um, so they're not old enough quite yet to eat brine shrimp, but right now we are preparing the brine shrimp. So this is how we feed all of our cichlid, cichlid fry. Uh, we have a couple of brine shrimp hatcheries down here, and these are basically inverted uh, bottles cut in half with an extra bottom on top. And we've drilled a couple holes in. One is just to let air um, pass through and the other is to um, add an air stone at the bottom to keep it uh, turning over. So you'll know when your brine shrimp are hatched when at first you put the eggs in and it's nice and clear and you just have a bunch of eggs swimming around or floating around and but at the end you'll have a bunch of yellowish brown water um, and you'll see some eggs but it'll be a lot yellower and browner. That's because the brine shrimp have hatched and they are in the water column. So I'm going to explain the very basics of how we make our brine shrimp while they're settling. So you're going to need some aquarium salt and of course brine shrimp eggs. Now you can buy both these products in bulk. Right now we don't have this the salt in bulk but you can buy it. Um, right now we just don't have um, a lot of baby fry so we don't really need we don't really need to buy it in bulk. Um, however, the brown shrimp eggs, I recommend you definitely buy these in bulk because you'll buy these little vials um, and they're like eight bucks a piece and you have to buy them over and over and over again. Once you get 15, 20 tanks and you're breeding a bunch of fish, you're gonna want a lot of it. So online, you can just buy these, can, these big cans of the eggs and they're a lot cheaper. Uh, so you're going to need uh, some teaspoons and half teaspoons and you can do three two, you do three teaspoons of aquarium salt and then one half teaspoon of brine shrimp eggs along with one liter of water and that does a very close measurement um, of and it does have a decent hatch rate. Um, as you can see right now all the brine shrimp eggs are floated to the top and the brine shrimp and float it to the bottom, so let's harvest them. We're going to move the lid off of the hatchery and we're going to harvest the brine shrimp. So I'm using a brine shrimp net to strain it through and the reason you want to not put the salt water in, especially if you're feeding fry, is because if you get too much salt in the water um, you will get uh, a high conductivity level which is can be harmful to the fry and it's just overall not good. Your fish might not spawn as much either. So right now all the brown shrimp have gone to the bottom. And I'm just going to take this turkey baster here. And I'm going to spray it through this brown shrimp net, which holds most of the brown shrimp in it. And then we're going to take this over, put all the brown shrimp into some fresh water. And you can do this over and over again with your brine shrimp. So now that we have the brine shrimp in the fresh water, um, we have this light um, hooked up here and we have it shining through the container. And since the brine shrimp are photosensitive, they tend to go towards the light or wherever the light condenses most, which tends to be along the bottom down here and along basically this whole entire side. And this makes it easier because you can get a more brown shrimp to water ratio when you go to suck them up through a syringe.
Well guys, the convicts have had their babies and they're swimming around well. And we have had the awesome opportunity of having another little baby brother. So we're one week away from submitting our Pink Convict Fry for DAP points. Um, I have to say, it's been a great experience, super easy. These guys are great parents, um, as well as normal convicts. Um, we have about 200 plus fry, they're gorgeous on brine shrimp. Um, we probably have enough to supply us for a lifetime, and I doubt we're ever going to breed them again. But um, yeah, I'll catch you here one day before we submit our DAP. So, um, yep, we're, uh, this is the last day, um, this is our day we can submit this for VAP points, um, no idea what we're going to do with 200 Comet Fry, um, but at least we got our points, that's great, so, uh, I'm very excited to, uh, move on to the next breeding project, which is just a me, but we'll, uh, see you that. <laughs>